To the West, President Obama today declared a state of emergency in North Dakota, part of a wide area under flood watches and warnings this evening. Reporter Alice Barr from our CBS affiliate KGAN has the latest now from Cedar Falls, Iowa. Alice? Russ, here in eastern Iowa, people are watching the rivers carefully as the worst flooding this area has ever seen is still fresh in people's minds. In Cedar Falls, the Cedar River is five feet above flood stage. Most of these people that live here, they know the river can come up and they're they're prepared. Residents here are used to flooding every spring, but since the river crested a record 15 feet above flood stage two years ago, any rising water puts people on edge. It is worrying, uh, especially after the floods we had in 2008. Major flooding is underway, but so far there's no serious property damage reported. Brent Nelson Good. lives a mile and a half from the river. It went down yesterday and then came back up, didn't it? That bothered me a little bit. An hour west of here in central Iowa, officials called for voluntary evacuations as rivers swelled three feet above flood stage, covering roads and farmland. I've never seen it this bad, and it's terrible. Rain combined with melting ice and snow to push the Raccoon River close to record heights. Moderate flooding is expected in the Raccoon and Des Moines River basins this week. All we see is rushing water and big chunks of ice everywhere. In North Dakota, Fargo residents are packing sandbags as the Red River has risen to 22 feet or 4 feet above flood stage. The National Weather Service says the river could rise as much as 10 more feet in some places. Emergency responders throughout eastern Iowa are watching all the river levels carefully to make sure this does not develop into something worse. Russ? Okay, Alice Barr from station KGAN joining us this evening from Cedar Falls, Iowa. Thank you so much.